In this video, we're going to be talking about escrows paid at closing when buying a home. These prepaid items are often overlooked and can be a huge surprise in the 11th hour to some buyers. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand houses and I'm here with uh, Sam Eliopoulos and I work with Guaranteed Rate and I'm one of the top loan officers in the United States. All right, Sammy, let's talk about the escrows paid at closing. Actually, first, maybe tell us what an escrow is. Uh, an escrow that is managed by your mortgage company is an account that's set up and managed by a servicer to hold funds to pay expenses associated with the property. Okay, so what type of expenses are we talking about here? Generally, they are for property taxes and homeowners insurance. I have to stop you here for a quick second because this is one of the closing costs that very few buyers ever either remember or really know about calculating into the amount it would cost for them to close on their new house. That is correct. And it's not like it's a small chunk of chain. Uh, it amazes me how many loan officers don't do a proper job in explaining this. Okay, so let's talk about the cost, right? Because like you said, it's a lot of money. What are we talking about here? Let's tackle taxes first. Uh, a bank will require between four to six months of prepaid taxes upfront. Uh, so if your property taxes are about $5,000 a year, then that means you'll need to pay about $2,500 upfront at closing to put into that escrow account. Like you said, that's a big chunk of change. Yeah. Okay, so talk to me about the insurance part of this. Yeah, the, the, the bank will require three to four months of insurance premiums to be paid at closing in order to fund the escrow account in addition to the amount that you're already paying for the full year in advance. So that means if your yearly premium is $2,100 per year, then you're looking at another $700, and that's after you just paid the $2,100 up front right before closing. So why do I need to pay $2,100 up front for 12 months of insurance, then have to pay an additional four months of $700 to fund the escrow account closing? I don't get it. Well, it makes sense when you actually think about it. Uh, you buy a house today, you have your pay, you've paid your insurance, then that means you'll have to re-up your insurance in a year. Uh, big lumpy bills like that, uh, someone asking for 2100 is tough for people to budget. Okay, so basically what this is doing is helping homeowners with their money, monthly budgets so they're not gonna have some huge lump payment due, well, essentially one year after they buy the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why do you have to pay an additional three to four months though? Yeah, uh, so this is so the bank has a little extra money to play with in case the insurance premium goes up uh, or if somebody should miss a payment. Okay, so last question, mm -hmm. whose money is the escrow funds? It's the homeowner's money. The bank just helps you manage it. So that means you, should you decide to refinance the house or sell the house, then you're actually gonna get the funds remaining in the escrow account back, is that correct? Uh, that is exactly right. One thing that we forgot to mention is new construction condo fees. Good point, that one isn't really dealing with the banks and does not really apply to everyone, but it's important to know. Uh, agreed, so if you're buying a condo and it's new construction, then in most cases, they're gonna require you two months of prepaid condo fees to be paid at closing. So what this does is help build a reserve account for that condo association, which is protecting your really expensive new investment ultimately. Well, uh, Sammy, I, I think we did it. That's everything that you need to know when it comes to funding prepaid escrows at closing. If you're thinking about making a move in Massachusetts, then be sure to reach out to this guy. He's one of the top agents in the state and will take great care of you. This guy will, right here. Uh, and if you're buying a home in Massachusetts or really anywhere in the country, or if you're refinancing, then Sammy, he can help you. He works for the number two lender in the country and is one of the top 10 brokers in the company at guaranteed rates. So all of our contact information is in the description below. So let us know if you have any questions or you feel free to go to youtuberealestateagent.com and just fill out that quick questions. It's just a couple questions and we're gonna reach out to you right away. So until next time, 